Jumbo, welcome back to Easy Bum Fitness. I just wanted to give you an update of what I've been up to. So I had shared that I'm about seven months pregnant. And yes, I was seven months pregnant. And even before that, I got um, a doctor's uh, advice to stay in bed, to be on bed rest because of some issues that I'm going to be discussing later. I don't even know why I'm smiling. So anyway, um, on Saturday, 20th March, 2021, I started feeling um, cramps and all those things and just the things that you feel when you're in labor. And this is after I had gotten discharged from, the ho from being hospitalized because of the same thing. Yeah. So, of course, I couldn't exercise if I'm on bed rest, you know. I have been posting for you guys TBTs. <laughs> yeah, just to keep you around and just for you to know that I'm still around. So, anyway, on 20th March, if I'm not wrong, it was on a Saturday. I came to the hospital and I was rushed to the emergency um, to have the babies evacuated. Yeah there was a bit of some complications with the operation and i need to a surgery but i'm i'm so happy that i'm okay i'm here now and uh, i was able to go see the kids our we got a boy and a girl yay <laughs> yeah born at uh between 31 and 32 weeks in fact that's the day they were about to go to 32 weeks so between 31 and 32 weeks and uh, they were 1.5 and 1.4 if my memory is having me correctly yeah i've been out of it <laughs> yeah the drugs can really do something so i went to see them yesterday and it was a bit emotional for me of course because i'm a mom of two but i have only seen babies that are big like from i had babies that are like 3.5 3. 3 point something kilograms babies that were ready go, to go home with their mother you know so i've never been into a nursery i have not had anybody in my circle that had some you know i've been that lucky but nobody in my circle had a baby that was put in a nursery in a incubator you know so i went there all strong and ready to see them but i broke down i cried i started blaming myself like things i could have done things i couldn't have done you know asking myself all these questions looking at the baby with the babies so small and with tubes coming out of them it's been overwhelming but i've decided uh, to take a day as it comes and I'm also talking with my family who was also are going, you know, they are feeling the same way as me. And I, I believe we are going to be okay. So please pray for me, for the babies, for our family. Yeah, so the babies are here. It's a boy and a girl. I will give you a better update when I'm at home. Yeah, so this is how I look like. In the hospital bed okay i hope you gonna i hope it has audio because i won't be able to repeat it's so unedited yeah that's my room i had actually prepared a video for, for a room to for a hospital tour which i'll be putting up later because of course right now i can't exercise and i'll have a lot of on my mind yeah, and of course, I'll be concentrating on getting the babies home. Please pray for me. Yes, thank you. <laughs>